Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create advanced shapes in Java. So let's start off by creating a J frame. So J frame, frame equals new J frame. Now inside our parentheses, we're going to put in the title. So let's put in advanced shapes. Okay. Now let's set the size of our frame. So let's do frame dot set size. I'm going to do 600 by 600. Okay. Now let's set the location of our frame. So let's do frame dot set location. I'm going to do zero and zero. Okay. Now let's do frame dot set default close operation and we're going to do j frame dot exit on close okay now let's set our content pane so we're going to do frame dot set content pane we're going to do new panel parentheses and we're doing new panel because that's the name of our other class we have over right here okay now finally let's set the visibility uh, of our frame to true so frame dot set visible to true okay and make sure you add one more import up here so we're going to do import java dot awt dot star okay now we're going to copy these imports and put them in our panel class because we're gonna need them here as well. Okay. Now over here we're gonna do public class panel extends J panel. Okay. Now let's set up our paint component. So we're gonna do public void paint component. And inside here we're gonna do graphics g okay now i'm going to create three shapes so let's first start off by creating an arc so i want to do g dot draw arc okay now just follow along with me and and i'll explain later so let's do 100 100 and then I'm going to do 200, 200 for a width and height. And then our start angle is going to be 0. And then I'm going to do 180, for example. OK. Now when we run this, as you can see, we can create almost like semicircles. And we can also do like quarter circles or any type of circle you want. Now with this, you can also do g dot fill arc. And what this will do is that it'll fill in the arc. So when I run it, it fills it in. Okay. And we can also change the color of this. So we can go in here and do um, g dot set color. And then we can create a color by doing new color and then we can put in a value inside here so I'm going to put in 2C5C9B and we can run it as you can see we have a blue semicircle okay now we can do another shape so this time we'll do a G dot draw round rect and what this will do is that it will create a rectangle but then it will round out the corner so we can do our x position will be 100 y position will be 100 as well height and width you can pick whatever you want i'm going to do 175 okay now make sure your arc width and arc height are the same or else it will not work. 
So I'm going to do 20 and 20. And this determines how round uh, the corners are. Okay, now let's run it. As you can see, we have a rounded rectangle over here. Now with this, we can also do g dot fill round rect, and it'll just fill it in, as you can see here. It's a rounded rectangle. Okay, now if you set these values to, for example, 100 for the arc width and 100 for the arc height, when you run it, you get like an oval. Okay. Now for our final shape, we're gonna do a 3D rec. So we're gonna do G dot draw 3D rec, and then we can put in our x, y, width and height. So let's do 100 for the x, 100 for the y, and do. 100 for the width and 75 for the height. Okay, and the Boolean raised determines whether you want the shape to appear sucking into the ground or above the ground. So if we do false, this will appear sunken into the ground. Now I'll set this color to yellow so I can better show it. So let's go over here, set this to yellow. Here. Okay, now let's hit run. As you can see, these corners over here are highlighted. So it's almost like it is sunken into uh, the plane. Now, if you set this to true, it will appear above the ground. So when you hit run, it appears above the ground because these two corners are highlighted. Okay, now we can also do uh, g dot fill rect with both of these. So let's do fill. When we hit run, we have this, and as you can see, it appears above the ground. And then when we set this value to false, when we hit run, it appears sunken into the ground, as you can see here. Thank you for watching.